We are live. Hello, hello everyone. Hope you're having an excellent day today. I'm doing pretty good. Today's Friday, almost to the weekend. We're gonna have our bi-weekly store tour live stream. And we've got a bunch of stuff to cover today here. As usual, there's Madeline. Hello, Madeline, hope you're doing well. Don't mind me, just looking at all these amazing prototype pieces here. You got the light brown and a bunch of colors that are very hard to find, especially in these shapes. I mean, look at that, it's a two by three brick and trans yellow, that is so cool. There's Scott Robinson, hello Scott. Thanks for joining us today, we sure appreciate it. There's Brick Lore. Howdy, howdy. Joe was just getting your uh, trading cards together. He was mentioning you. Here's Daniel working on something. Oh, something cool. Putting some classic sets out. Oh, look at that yes. boat. Very That's nice awesome. sail on that one. Classic space and aqua zone. Very yes. cool. Thanks, Daniel. Yeah, of course. It's awesome. Can we look at Ninjago? Yes, we can, Lemur Bricks. Good, good question. There's Gary. Hello, Gary. Got Craig, all the regulars showing up today. There's Raymond. Hello, Mark from Armarillo, Texas. How's the weather in Texas today, Raymond? Is it cold? Is it rainy? Is it nice and sunny? Woo woo, I'm super excited. Just can't beat the quality service of the ABC. Oh, thanks, Scott. That's awesome. We're glad you're, we're glad you're getting the best service possible. Can we see Star Wars? We can. First, we're gonna look at Ninjago, then we'll head right over to Star Wars. Change back. Thanks for joining the ch um, the chat. We sure appreciate it. It's around 70. That sounds pretty good to me, Raymond. Very cool. We've got a number of classic Ninjago sets here. That one we got in uh, last week. It's very cool. Or earlier this week, maybe. I think we remember that being on the all video not too long ago. We've got some of the Ninjago movie, some of the later Ninjago series, including the legacy sets over here. Goes all the way down to the floor. You got some Ninjago poly bags hiding down there. Some of the Spinjitsu spinners. Those guys can actually fly. It's pretty cool. Thanks for these live streams. Ordered the Texas Rangers base plate and a few other figs and animals. That's awesome, Craig. Very cool. Glad to have you Texas folks in the chat. We sure appreciate it. We've got a bunch of Ninjago figures. There's a lot of Ninjago ninjas and baddies available here. Those big gray guys are awesome. They look real gangster. How much is the snake car? Oh, well, let me go back here. This one here, Lemur Bricks. Let's check the price. I think this one's pricey because it's new and sealed. Yep, so 300 for a new sealed Fangpire truck ambush. This one's probably same price because it's also new sealed. I've never seen two new sealed sets like that together in the same room before, but universes collide. Here we go. Um, there's this one, the spinner battle. And there's Jay's Stormfighter. Looks like we have two of those as well. Oh, and there's one more in the back. Lasha's Bite Cycle, that's pretty cool. So some very nice Ninjago sets from Season 2 of Ninjago. I've actually started watching that one, so I'm a little up to date about the, uh, the Fangpire. Need to watch the rest of the, what is it, 14 seasons of Ninjago so I can know a little more about them. So. Let's see some sweet, sweet adventurer sets. We can check those out in a moment, Scott. we got to check out Star Wars first, though. Just left the store and heading back to Florida. Awesome time and great to meet you and everyone else is so helpful. Thanks. You're welcome, Jeff. Thanks for stopping by. It's good to see you. When you're in the Star Wars section, can you see if the 2014 Star Wars advent calendar with Santa Darth Vader is still in stock and how much? We'll check on that, BJ. Thanks for joining us today. Robert Goodwin. Been a while, but hello everyone from Eastern North Carolina. Good to see you, Robert. Thank you for joining us. How much for the snake bite? Oh, 
I forgot to check on the price on that one. Lemur Bricks, we'll head over there in a moment to check it, but let's look at Star Wars for a second. Hi, Mark. What built Star Wars buildable figures do you have in stock? We can check on those. We're in Star Wars right now. Mark, would you use the castle pieces to build a castle? Um, yes, I would. I love building castles. It's one of my favorite things. I'm looking for the buildable Boba Fett. Oh, we can look at that in a moment. I think we have one. Here for that adventurer's goodness. Oh, yes. Well, if you want adventurer's goodness, don't forget to check out our um, YouTube channel here. We just uploaded the adventurer's between the studs and it's all about adventurers me and daniel break it down talk about most of the sets it's pretty fun there's joe working on the case these are the inbox buildable figures they're all still pretty affordable got kylo ren jen urso sergeant jen urso probably from before they kind of edited the movie a little bit You've got that, what is that called? Range Trooper, that's what that dude's called. He's not a snow trooper, he's a range trooper. You got Commander Cody, too bad there's not a minifigure of that guy. Um, you've got Ray Solo, Praetorian Guards. Um, good question there, Ant Bandit. Were all the sets from the podcast just props or for sale? I think most of them what were from Daniel's collection. And then a few of the paper products were from the store as well. But we do, we actually, at the end of the video, you can see that uh, there are several sets that we just got in, literally hours after finishing filming, that were um, are now for sale on our website. So you can get some new Seal Adventurer sets, but that's pretty much all we've got right now. Um, so hopefully we get some more built ones and different condition ones so that we have a little more variety. Um, looking at the buildable figures here, we got Darth Vader and Maul up there. We've got Obi Wan and a First Order trooper. Another Darth Vader in the back as well. Don't see any Boba Fett's yet. A couple Luke Skywalker's, Kylo Ren's, Shore Troopers, Poe Dameron, uh, Finn, Rey, Luke, Stormtrooper. Let's see. Hey guys, I'll be traveling up from my for my first visit to your store from Tallahassee with lots to trade. Oh, that's awesome, Joseph. We will be here and looking forward to you. You guys have a gunship of ATTE or just any popular Clone Wars sets? Um, we might have some of those in stock. I know they are generally out of stock though, so we'll see. We'll have a look around and see what we got. So mostly original trilogy. There's some clone walkers from the 501st packs. Oh, oh, hold on. Morgan, there's a, there's a buildable Boba Fett in the back there. Hiding in the corner. What's the price got on that guy here? Let's see. Whoa! He's gone up. <laughs> buildable Boba Fett is 120 for new sealed. So that's pretty cool, but pretty expensive. Let's see. Built Django Fed is a little more affordable at $40. Um, Clone Wars era. Oh, there's um, pre-Clone Wars era sub. Let's see. Old Millennium Falcon set. Not a lot of Clone Wars. There's a clone tank. Excuse me droid tank of course there's anakin's jedi interceptor I believe or it's jedi starfighter because one that is either this one or that one that's the i think that's the starfighter and this one is the interceptor but i'm not sure there's the slave one or um the fire spray or boba fett starship whatever you'd like to call it Ooh. We just put this one out, it's a Naboo Starfighter, ready for a Mandalorian retrofit. Let's see, we got a bunch of comments coming in, let me see if I can read some of them. Um, cheese on top 17 says Jin. Yes, we have a few Jin or so. Coming tomorrow, awesome Joseph, we'll see you then. Um, these are so underrated. Yes, they are. Daniel knows his stuff. He does. 
That's where we had him on the episode. He'll be on plenty more episodes coming up soon, I'm sure. Um, I'm here for a few things. Legos, Legos, and Grumpy J. Yes, you are, Robert. How big is the, your Clone Wars section? We have quite a few clone figures. You can see there's some Stormtroopers and clones here. But uh, as far as sets, we are generally a little low on those because they sell so quickly. We try to price them so that they're not too crazy. And they sell pretty fast. There's an Imperial V-Wing Starfighter. That was kind of the in-between phase between uh, the Empire, uh, excuse me, the Republic Army and the Empire. Let's see. Mark, do you know or Joe, do you or Joe know if the girls have gone through the Lego minifigure hall? They have. They're working through it and we're putting those figures out pretty much every other day. So uh, we are working on that, Raymond. Good question. 71043 Harry Potter Lego set do you have? Um, I'm rude. How are you doing? No, we're doing good, Devlin. Thanks for asking. Let me check on that Harry Potter set. Um, LOL, everything but Boba. Oh, you found Boba. Yes, we found Boba, Morgan. It turns out we did have him. Speaking of CBBs, can we look at Bionicle? We can check it out. Do you have an Umbar and Cannon? I'm pretty sure we don't have one of those now. Let me have, uh, Ethan, can you look up a set for me? I can. It's set 71043. 71043? That's correct. And you want to show me a picture of that and I can look it up? It's the Hogwarts Castle, right? Yes. What's the uh, cover art look like there? Um, Here, just when you're ready. Hold on one second. Because I know that we have a lot of Harry Potter sets. I want to make sure if we have that one. Ooh, old 501st Paddle Packs. We do have a couple. You're right, yes. Zahn says, going to be coming up there next week and wondering if y'all have the Han Solo Carbonite piece that came in the UCS Slave 1. Do we, we have, have the, the piece? The, we do the, have that the, piece. Like three-dimensional, yes, yeah. We, we should have that. And how much do they go for now? Like $10, $12? So. I can check. Not too bad, but yeah, we have that one, Zahn. Thank you for asking. Looking forward to being here. So this is the Hogwarts. Game. Oh, so that's the big one, okay. Yeah. Awesome, the UCS. Yes. Battle packs. Hello, everyone. We need a lot more oh. likes. Oh, yes. Diana, thank you for mentioning that. If you are watching this video and you like the content, go ahead and hit that like, bu like button. It is free. Um, it helps the algorithms. We sure appreciate it. It's going for $5.99. $5.99. Okay, so it's actually, is this it right here? It is. Oh, uh, yeah, that is it. That's it. Yeah, so we've got it, Zon. That's the piece. So it's a mere $6 if you need one. So we've got them. Let me say hi to the stream. Yeah. I stream. There's Vogan. He's so happy to be here today. So is Ethan, but Ethan's Ethan's working too. Yes. All right. How much for the slave one? I mean, Boba Fett Starship. Let me ask you. What battle packs do you have? We have a couple of them. Um, we used to have all of them, but obviously stuff sells. So, do you know when you guys are restock? Um, probably next Monday we'll get some more Star Wars sets in, but uh, it's very sporadic and unknown, so hard to say. We've got Sith Troopers, First Order. And that might be all we have in the box out here. We've got a lot of uh, micro fighters. Oh, no, we've got two more up here. Got some more First Order. And you got Snow Trooper packs. So First Order and Snow Trooper packs. And we've got a couple of the rarer ones back here. They're in the glass because they're kind of expensive and kind of small. So we want people to ask about them before they're able to access them or handle them. So we, we can explain that they're very collectible and hard to find now. So we have the uh, Utapau Troopers, the Kashyyyk Troopers, the Geonosis Troopers, three very popular clone battlefields. And we've got a couple of Mandalorian battle packs there. One is certified complete on the right and one is new sealed. So very cool. The certified complete one is $50. So that's... A little more expensive than I remember, but then again, uh, Mandalorians are harder to find these days. Let's check on the price of the Slave One. That's $99.99, so $100 for that. Looks like it doesn't have any of the figures, it's just the vehicle. So that's to answer Lemur Burke's question. Do we have Krell? Let's check and see. He would be with the good guys or the bad guys? Let's see. Because he was a bad guy for a while. Pong, Krell. 
Don't see him. So we might be fresh out of Krells right now. He's pretty awesome when we do get him though, because he's got four arms. He's really big and mean looking. Don't see him. We do have a lot of Jedi in stock though. Let's see here. Um, do y'all have Krell? Let's see, sweet. Thanks, man. If John S is there, wish him well in the next adventure of his life. I'll let him know. I think his last day is tomorrow. And uh, he's going to be go and welding for a little while. Is Sandlin still there? Fazoom, uh, Mark left just a little while ago. I want to say it was about an hour or hour and a half ago. So you just missed him. Have a happy Easter 2022, everyone. Greetings from the small Denmark, the land of Lego. Oh, thanks, Mongo. Appreciate it. Happy Easter to you, too. We are looking forward to a nice Easter holiday here. Oh, we do have a few Easter sets left over here. Might as well share them while we're talking about Easter. Some spring and Easter theme sets. I actually got this one a few years ago. It was very nice. I like the colored eggs. Got the little chicken soup guy in the box. A carrot house. Easter chicks. And of course, Jane Goodall is here too. Why not? <laughs> there you go. Let's see. You are the man. Thank you. You're welcome, Devlin. Let's see here. Let me check on the... Uh, saying thank you, but I don't think I even checked on it. So let's go look at it here. Where is John going? John's going to go weld for Yamaha for a little while. So hopefully that uh, turns out well for him. Mark, do you have any new Lego City sets? We do. We have a bunch of them. So we'll go look at those. Let's look and see if we have any Harry Potter here. We've got a bunch of Harry Potter, a lot of built stuff. A lot of clock towers, and there's the original Hogwarts Great Hall. Some of the built sets up there. Some of the old ones on the right, I think. But I don't see the UCS one, which is too bad. So sorry, Devlin. Looks like we have we have a lot of Harry Potter, but no UCS one. Okay, um, let's see. New city sets, we'll go look at that. And uh, Madeline was asking where John is going, going to Yamaha, we answered that. Uh, build a was already on the site, snagged it. Thanks, Mark. You're welcome, Morgan. Thank you for getting that. Love your store, it's my dream to visit one day. Well, that's awesome, Adam. Hopefully one day you're able to stop by. And Gary just answered Madeline's question. Yamaha, that's right. Two of the Brickheads, we can check that out, Robert. Good question. We don't cover Brickheads enough around here. Ant Bandit saying hi to Fazoom. We're glad to have Fazoom in here. He's a, a great representative of the Peach Lug, which is the local Atlanta Lug. So Ant Bandit's part of that too. And uh, so was uh, Mark Sandlin, who was visiting earlier. He goes by um, Fleebnork, I think is his name, on most social medias. So They all have YouTube channels and TikToks and everything, so follow those guys. They're awesome. Did the Aqua Raiders set get put out yet? I think it just did, but I'll have to double check for you there. Scott, hold on one second. Yeah, we've got a bunch of city sets. Uh, some of these are not online yet. So some of them are, some of them aren't. So if you see one, as I quickly scan all these that you are interested in, let us know. And we can put it online and you can buy it. It's a passenger train, that's pretty awesome. And let's check the classic space stuff because I saw a few of those going out earlier. Daniel was putting them out. It's very nice. Don't see the awkward. Oh, there we go. A couple of those got put out. Very nice. Um, deja vu. I feel like I've seen some of you guys yesterday. LOL. I thought it's because Bazoom was a peachy guy. <laughs> He's very peachy. He's peachy keen. Hello, Grumpy Jay from Texas, says Raymond. Let's see. Aqua Raiders. Let's look over here in Aqua Raider area zone here. There's the big sub for $44.99. There's a couple of the smaller ones for $30. I love that uh, one in the back. I want to say it's, it's not Stingrays. Aqua Raiders, no. What's the name of that uh, theme, sub-theme? 
I'm trying to remember. Anyway, they got the neon green exclusive colors. That's really cool. Uh, Ant Bandit has some great videos. That's correct, Brick Lord. Good, good uh, shout out there. Let's see. Hey, hey, Raymond. What other trans yellow prototypes do you have? Let's go check that out after we look at Brickheads. We got quite a few of the Brickheads over here. All right. Sorry, the, the iPad was glitching for a second. Sorry, guys. All right. We're back. Uh, Brickheads right here. So we got the Stormtrooper, the Witch, the Monkey King, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, the Bee, Batgirl. Looks like we've got the uh, Day of the Dead, La Caterina. That might be from Coco, if I'm not mistaken. I, I, I haven't seen that movie, so I need to watch it. Another witch. We got Donald Duck here in the corner. Here we go. We've got the, I wanted to say the beast from Sleeping, or not Sleeping Beauty, excuse me, um, Beauty and the Beast. But that's actually just the, uh, the groom set. So a wedding set, part of one of two. More Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, you've got the Nutcracker with his mouth open. And we've got a few other ones up here. You got like Captain America. A couple built ones down here. You got Thanos. Batman. Looks like a Black Widow. A couple of this built Thanos, built Easter Chick, built Owen, built Robin with a hole in his head. That's not good. Sith Trooper. Santa and Reindeer. Mandalorian. Easter Chick. Mrs. Claus. Batgirl, the Beast, there's the Beast. That's the one I was thinking of earlier. Aquaman, Cyborg, Master Wu hiding in the middle back there. Got uh, Back to the Future, the Hulk, the Clown guy, who's got his head in the corner for some reason. Got Iron Man over there. Star-Lord, Solo, Mrs. Claus. Looks like some of the winter Christmas elves. A bunch of different characters. More clowns. There's a dragon dance guy. So some cool brick heads for sure. Um, let me scroll back just a tiny bit. Lou Rid was asking, what are other trans yellow prototypes you have? Let's go look at those really quick. The Grumpster's in the house, says Robert. Grumpy J, it is in the 70s in Texas. Is in the mid 80s here in Central Florida. Oh, wow. Huh? How much for the new Easter promo? Oh, um, I can check for you, Lima Bricks. Hold on one second. 75 here for about an hour north of ABC. Hey, Mark, can we look at pre built dimensions figures, please? Yes, we can check those out. Gladly take y'all's weather. I'm woke up to 25 degrees and snow. I'm so sorry, Scott. Well, glad you're able to uh, join us on the live stream nonetheless. So. How much for the built Master Wu? Oh, I'll check on that, Robert. We'll head over there in just a moment. Let's see. Mark, I gave the Lego Brickhead Bride and Groom to my nephew and his wife as a wedding gift. That's really cool, Raymond. That's awesome. That's I think that's a great use yeah. of that set. Oh, yeah. so. Any special offers going on right now? Nothing in particular other than just the general points reward system, which gets you about 5% back on your purchases. As well as if you're subscribed to our YouTube channel, um, you can get a in-store discount of $5, which is cool. A one-time $5 discount, of course. So more sales and stuff coming soon. Uh, Joe and Chris have to put their heads together about it. Loads of Thanos brickheads. Yes, all the multiverse Thanoses are coming together in brickhead form. There's Robert. Thanks for joining us, Robert Maynard. Well, about to buy more Lego. Can never have enough. See y'all Tuesday. Take care, Lima Bricks. All right, so to answer Lou Rid's question, we've got uh, the 2x3 brick in trans yellow. We've got several other trans yellow pieces in 2x6 plates and bricks. And then we had the prototype 1x6 plate in trans yellow. Very cool. But that's $7.99 for those and $1.99 for the bricks. So check them out. Purchase them on our website, atlbrick.com. Let's see, we're going to look at um, how much for the Built Master Rule. Let's check that out. Yeah. Ethan. 
Can I get a key? Need the key to the, oh, there we are. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> Joe is a LSU fan, so he has the decorations there. The, uh, he's from Louisiana, you know, can't, he can't help it. Doesn't realize that, uh, pro football is better than college, I guess. Yeah, come on. There you go. See. So, Built Master Wu is $14.99. See if I can get one out and look at it here. It's pretty awesome. He's got the stand and his little staff, too. Oh, and I just broke him. Hold on. There you go. Pretty cool. I'm going to leave him right there. And if you need him, Go ahead and contact the store, we can get them for you. All right. Um, Robert Maynard just got, did Joe like Back to the Future? Let me ask him. Joe, did you like the Back to the Future movie? I did. You did? It was hilarious, it was weird, it was... There's, there's some cringe moments in it, for sure. But overall, I liked it. I gave it a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10, that's good, that's good. It's a, it's a classic, you know? And I want to watch the second one. Yeah. The second and third ones are not quite as good as the first. But there's less, uh, um... Mother-son, uh... Relationship. But it was fun we did, it would be up here. Gotcha. Alrighty. I did like you. Absolutely. So Joe enjoyed it, Robert. Y'all could do a polybag promo, spend so much and pick a polybag or a cup of bulk Lego, kind of like Lego's promo. Yeah, we could. That's a good idea, Scott. I'll mention that to Joe and uh, Chris. <laughs> Go Tigers, says Grumpy J. Should have a key at all times during the live feed. It's worth eliminate the back and forth. Oh, that's true. I should have a key on me. I have a big set of keys, but it's just heavy in my pocket, so I usually uh, lose it. So usually keep it in my office. Oh. We just got this in. This is actual Lego. It's for the uh, winter decorations. So basically you'd have these larger plastic accessories that can go on snowmen and snowwomen and snow people. So you could decorate with all sorts of eyes, hats, crowns, wands, radios, um, carrots for noses. So these are awesome. If you need a big radio to call for help, we've got them. Put that back, there we go. Let's see, what are the comments looking like here? What did I miss? There's a request up here somewhere. Dimensions figures. Madeline was asking about dimensions figures. Let's go look at those. We got all the dimensions packs up here. And those are all on the website. But built figures are not always on the website, so we're gonna look at those now. We got Joker, Chima, Jurassic World, Harry Potter, DC. Should have some Marvel in there too. Adventure Time, Finn, very cool. Stay Puffed, uh, Ghostbusters, Sonic, Batman, Doctor Who, The Lego Movie, More Adventure Time, DC. Powerpuff Girls, Harry Potter, there's Voldemort, and he's just the figure. Sometimes they'll have the stand with him too. <laughs> Deanna's trying to get his steps in for the day. Elbow, yeah, I don't need to walk or run. I just work here and do the live stream. That's the, that's the real funny joke, <laughs> for sure. No, I actually the live streams are pretty fun. We, I'm enjoying them more and more as I do them. Um, you got ET, you got the Titanium Ninja, Master Wu hiding out in the back. You got uh, Emmett, you got uh, Gamer Guy, you got the Wicked Witch of the West. So quite a few, and you got all the sidekicks too. Now these um, stands are all the same coding programming. They're all plain, they don't have any printing, but the little builds are all unique. So you can always appreciate those. And they're pretty affordable, $2.99, $1.99, $3.99. Um, pretty fun. So we have lots of those. Those are not gonna be online. Um, so definitely give us a call or send us an email or even there's a chat message on our website that works most of the time, and uh, let us know. We can get it shipped out to you if you're interested. Um, let's see, oh, Top Shelf. Jerry's asking about Top Shelf. We can go look at those. Awesome, thanks being brought 
<laughs> being bought soon, says Robert. Uh, Snow Me Fund. Yes, let's go look at Snow Me Fund and Top Shelf. They're over here by the front. Joe, did you understand the Back to the Future movies? Um, I think he did. We've been explaining it to him, how they're classics and they're um, worth seeing and the, the Lego sets are great, so. All right. For those who don't know, we have a Snow Fund Me. Donate to Angie's Winter Village Project. Hashtag Snow Fund Me. You can donate white Lego parts or money. And she will use all of it in order to complete her amazing Winter Village Project. The first part of which is on our YouTube channel was uploaded last week. So definitely check it out. And if you want to make a donation, just get in touch with us. All the links are in the description. Pick a brick table looks a little lean. Yes, it is, Gary. We're still working on that massive bulk order. So the pick a brick is a little lighter than usual. Sorry, guys. It'll be back to normal soon, I imagine. Uh, like and subscribe, everyone. Thank you, Scott. Don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, definitely do that already. Do yourself a favor. You love Lego. You're here. Just go ahead and uh, subscribe. You'll enjoy it. Deanna, he's trying to get... Yeah, we got that. Steps in for the day. Did y'all buy just the stands? We do. We buy anything Lego, so the stands for Dimensions figures count for sure. Mark, would Chris sell the racetrack? Um, everything's for sale. Everything has a price, but that would be a very high price. We love our racetrack. And uh, speaking of racetracks, next Monday, not this Monday, but... No, actually, no, it is this next, next Monday. This next Monday, we have a race at 7 o'clock here on Atlanta Brick Co. TV. All the employees will be racing against each other. It'll be very fun. So definitely tune in for that next week, early next week. You've got Star Wars, um, Space Shuttle, Minecraft, the Sanctum Sanctorum, the Monkey Kid, Legendary Flower Fruit Mountain. That's kind of a mouthful, but it's a beautiful set. You've got uh, the Pirate Ship, the Brick Bounty. You've got the Aqua Sharks. Also got an agent set sneaking in over there. Got the Porsche 911. You got the Beetle. You got Django Fett's Slave One. Very exclusive set. Also has the carrying case in the back. That's why it's in a weird package. Hey, Mark, what is happening Monday? Says Will Lamb. We're having the uh, second Atlanta Brick Co. employee race. You got to tune in at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Oh, prices on Top Shelf? I can read some of them for sure. Um, for the interest of time, we probably want to just, if you see a set that you want to price on, just let me know. Um, generally, these are all a few hundred dollars. So, well, I think NASA is retail, so that's um, like, what is it, 200, 250, something like that. I know that the uh, big or giant truck is 1,000, so pretty cool. Got the large Technic crane. You got the UCS Vader's TIE Advance, very nice. You got the Mac Anthem. You've got the uh, Millennium Falcon, that's retail. You got the ATAT, -AT, also retail price. You've got the uh, Death Star 2, very nice. That one's a couple thousand dollars because it's sealed in the box, pretty awesome. The price of the two cars, that's a good question, Raymond. Let's check that out real quick. Oh, let me zoom out so we're not getting uh, dizzy there. Sorry, guys. Checking the price of the two cars. 160 for the Beetle, that's certified complete. This one should still be pretty close to retail, newish, and 139. So, newish means that most of the bags are still sealed, but there's probably one or two bags that have been opened, like somebody attempted to build it but then gave up. And we have worked very hard to make sure all those pieces are back in the bag and complete. So, it's almost new sealed set. And um, the Land Rover Defender, I think it's a few hundred now as well, because I think it's retired. But, or maybe it's not. I'll have to double check on that one. It's either retired and gone up, or it's similar to retail. Let's check on that one. We're asking about the cars, so. Newish 200. The newish set, it's probably got a bag opened. Very cool. I 
I'm rooting for Chris, and do y'all still have the Back to the Future car? We don't think we do, Will Lamb. Let's check here. Hold on one second. Nope, it is sold. So, there's a stop with Camel there instead. There's no more Back to the Future car. Sorry. Maybe this time Angie's car won't try and take everyone else's cars off the track. Oh my goodness. Yes. I wasn't present at the last race, but I will definitely be there this time. Uh, the old one, yes. The uh, old Back to the Future car is sold. Sorry, Willem. The Technicrane you just showed, that was my very first Lego set purchase. Oh, nice, Gary. That's a really good one. You got pneumatics going on. You got um, linear actuators. You got motors. Big tires. That's a good one. Good afternoon from Kinga and Jacob. 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 Kinga and Jacob. Thanks, guys. Thanks for joining in. We sure appreciate it. Good afternoon to you guys, too. Dace says, Hey, Mark, do you remember me from last stream? Yes, Dace. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Thanks for joining this stream. Gotta love the sweet sound of sorting through Lego. Oh, yes. That's what they're doing right now. And Bricky Bobby loves it. He's so happy. I mean, I don't know if I'd be happy at the sound of my my body being turned and messed around. Still have it, says Gary. That's awesome. Sorry, Willem. I bought the older minifig scale Back to the Future DeLorean earlier this week. Oh, well, thank you for buying that, BJ. Sorry for Will. You'll have to find one some other place. Or, honestly, just get the new one. It's so much bigger and so much nicer. If it's uh, available, I know that most Lego stores will have a few in stock still. Even if it's not available online. Hello everyone, you can see I got the cool Exo Force, Exo Force shirt going on. Another prototype here at Atlanta Brick Co. Day says, can you check out Infinity War and before sets and figs? Let's have a look. Infinity War and before, that's interesting. Um, we've got the Nowhere Escape mission with the giant Groot, it's pretty cool. The Milano versus the Abelisk, very cool. The Avenget Space Mission, that's one of the earlier Thanos ones. Thor vs. Hulk Arena Clash. Avengers Hydra Showja Showdown, excuse me. Captain America vs. Hydra, some classic Marvel sets for sure. Got Captain America Civil War. It has a lot of the main characters, including the giant Ant Man, that's awesome. So it's new sealed for 270. Wow, that's awesome. It's a cool set. All right. Um, we've got the original Thor and Hulk from the original Avengers movie. That one is $109.99, so $110. That's newish, so one of the bags is opened. Um, oh, another airport battle. Very cool. Here's an earlier Daily Bugle showdown with, from Spider Man. Newish for $170. Very cool. You've got the Iron Man Hall of Armor. This is kind of Endgame era stuff, but it still kind of counts. 70 for that one. I just got the Thor's Weapon Quest in my order from y'all. Oh, thanks, Scott. That's awesome. That is a really good set. I actually got that one, too. I don't normally buy Marvel sets, but that was one I definitely bought back in the day. Actually, here's one more. This is the one that Scott was talking about. Thor's Weapon Quest. Very good set. Ooh, $59.99. I remember that being more affordable back in the day. Some of them go up a little bit. Got the Ravager Attack, $59.99. That one's really special because Mantis. You don't see that figure very often. You've got uh, the Quantum Realm Explorers, that's $40. Got Spider-Man Ghost Rider Team Up. Ghost Rider's pretty, oh, that's still a really cool minifigure. Ghost Rider's pretty uh, cool looking dude. You got um, Captain Marvel's jet right there too. And that's about it for pre-Infinity um, War stuff. You got the Hulk, Buster Smash, Avengers Tower. And you got a bunch of the figures and it's hard to determine which ones are before and after, but you can get at least a nice overview. Let's see, Friends Buildings, 
that would add color to the city layout. Oh yeah, that's a good good suggestion, Robert. We've done friends' buildings before, but they actually tend to sell pretty well. Uh, Faith and Misery says, Hi, sorry late to the stream. Can you show what Lego Batman movie sets you have available? Good question. We'll go over there. Arcane says, Give me Joe. Let's go look at Joe. Hold on, here. Hold on one second. Have a great Easter weekend. Thanks, Joe, for the cards. Will do, Brick Lore. You have a great Easter weekend as well. Thanks for tuning in. Dace says, Thank you so much. You're welcome, Dace. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. If I mispronounce stuff, sorry guys, I'm slightly dyslexic. Can we look at the built Marvel, please? Specifically Spider-Man. Thank you very much. Let's look at it, Madeline, while we're here. Got a Miles mech back there. Built Marvel. Ooh, I like that uh, built giant ant man. It's very cool. And the Hulkbuster. Giant ant as well. Let's see. Built Spider-Man sets. There's another Miles mech. There's the Avengers van. That's actually kind of an ugly looking van, not gonna lie. But it is a pretty good deal at 25 bucks. Um, there's the little van from Ant-Man again. I'm seeing a lot of Ant-Man stuff in here. Let's see. Got the gauntlet, Avengers tower, Iron Man collapsing from exhaustion, poor guy. Um, you got the Hydro Man up here. And what's the big head guy's name? Mordo? Modok. Modok, excuse me. Mordo is another character. That's, um, that's from Doctor Strange. Uh, I've got Hulkbuster. I like this version of the Hulkbuster. It's kind of cool looking. I think I just heard a box fall over. I'll have to make sure that's okay. you got the jet plane from Spider-Man uh, Far From Home. Looks like it's missing a tip of wing there. That shouldn't be too hard to replace. Maybe it was like that in the set. I'm not sure. All right, uh, there's a few questions here. Do you all have Helm's Deep? We don't have Helm's Deep right now, Will Lamb. Sorry about that. Built Speed Champions. We got those all day, but let's see. We had two requests up here. Lego Batman and... Oh, someone wanted to see Joe. Let's go look at Joe. Well, he just stepped out, so let me go look at Built Batman. I don't know. Excuse me. Lego Batman movie sets here. So this is the one that I got and I really enjoyed. The Joker Balloon Escape. I just loved the character of the Joker in the Lego Batman movie. He was funny. Got Scarecrow special delivery. <laughs> yes, he was gonna serve some pizza or not. Got Mr. Freeze. Ice attack, very cool. It's freezing the fireman that came to help. Another Scarecrow. We've got some Batgirl versus Catwoman. And uh, Robin's there too, of course. Sparkly cape and all. The movie maker set. That's pretty fun. You get like uh, some pieces that are good for stop motion. And you can even build a stand. Very nice. You got the Batmobile. Also an amazing set. Some great pieces. Great posability. Great set. Uh, the Riddler. Riddle Racer. Looks like a Ford GT kind of with those uh, headlights. You got a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of built Batman and DC stuff here. So, so many cool DC sets. We also have almost all the DC villains in at least one shape or form. And uh, so many Batman and Superman and Wonder Womans. And those are all online at atlbrick.com. You can look up DC both minifigure sets and the theme itself. Let's go look at Joe. Arcane is asking for Joe. Let's go get Joe. Actually, we have to show off Joe's shoes. You'll see why in a moment. Yeah. Joe, can we see your shoes real quick? Oh yeah. Look at Joe's shoes sent in by a viewer. Yeah, one of our regulars. One of our regulars sent those in. Lord of the Rings licensed Converse. So big thanks to them. Look They're at that. Awesome. I love them. So Joe is doing good. They wanted to see Joe. I Look at Joe. He's happy. actually happy. That was a happy celebratory Joe. That's awesome. So Joe is so famous, people will send him shoes. It's pretty awesome. All right, and we're looking at Scott Robinson was asking about built speed champions. We'll go check on that. Thanks, Mark. You're welcome, Madeline. Hope I was able to help. 
Lego storage right there, yes. Oh, um, Diana was talking about these. We've got uh, the Lego storage boxes all here. Very good, very useful. That one's $14.99 for yellow brick. Awesome, thank you. We'll definitely pick some of those up. Yep, some of them are on the website, some of them might not be. So if you're not seeing them on the website, definitely uh, send us an email or give us a call. All those links are in the description of this video. So You've got the built Speed Champions array here, as well as some of the harder to find sets in the back. It's a little bright, sorry about that. The backlight from the window is very bright in the afternoon. You've got some of the good cars and the pilots and drivers, pilots, excuse me, the drivers, the car people, Got some of the older Speed Champion sets in the back. My brother got the entire first wave and he's really happy he did, they're pretty cool. So many built Speed Champions. Porsches, Fords, Ferraris, Mercedes, McLarens. My goodness. And Mixels down there too, we just re reorganized those as well. Big Joe, oh yes. Big Joe in the house. Mark, what are you thinking of putting in the choices for the live build next week? Oh, um, I know Technic is high on the list because uh, we had a viewer. I think it's uh, pretty sure it was Gary. He um, uh, submitted a certified complete set on loan so that we could build it because we do have a shortage of certified complete Technic sets right now. So that is definitely going to be high on the list. But I know that uh, Friends was there. Um, City is also there, so there's a couple options. Definitely vote when that comes out. How's it going, Daniel? Y'all still got the Finch Dollar. Let me check on that. I don't even. I'd have to. Right. I'd have trouble picture. Oh, you know what? Which one is Daniel? I don't know. Finch yeah, do we have him? I know who he is. I don't know if we have him. Okay, let's go look. Uh, this was a fig that was released in the Resistance Bomber, but then there was a whole thing about they changed uh. the skin tone on the head. Yes. One version was rare and one version was not. So we might have him, we might not. Yeah, I'd probably have to ask one of the other Star Wars guys. I would imagine Ethan he would know. be in his own case. Yeah. Because he's a couple hundred bucks, right? Yeah, so, yeah. he's very expensive. I yeah, I would go check him. with Ethan. I'll ask probably. Ethan. Yeah, it's a good question. Thank you for asking, Arcane. What do you think has sat unsold the longest in the store? Um, Probably the Death Star. Because it's, you know, thousands of dollars, and not everyone just wants to drop that much money on the old Death Star set, so it's going to be a little while. Uh, do we have a Finch Dallo anywhere, no? Not right now. Not right now, okay. Thanks, guys, worth checking. Would you agree that the, um, probably the set that's sat for the longest is probably the Death Star 2? Oh, like... In recent memory? memory? In recent memory, yeah. Probably. Yeah, but it's only been like a month. Okay, only a few months, month or two? That's not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Someone almost, today. Someone almost got it today? Wow. It'll sell. I'm not worried. It will sell eventually. In fact, uh, we even the big sets on the top shelf do rotate pretty quickly within a couple months span. So. so, Robert Maynard asks, Last night Joe said next week's build show is Technic. No voting on set, but we do do voting on the giveaway. Oh, interesting. Yeah, definitely uh, re-watch that uh, episode of The Joy of Building to get more specifics. I did not get to watch it, so, because I was not in it. Oh, somebody dropped a Lego sword on the ground. I'm going to get that real quick, because it's a cool sword. All right. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> yeah, we're not going to stop here. Nexonites are just garbage. Don't ever buy Nexonites. I mean, I know they got awesome pieces and really cool figures. Look at that guy. But uh, they're they're terrible. Don't don't ever get next nights. Wink wink. All right. Um, what's the most popular Clone Wars set in stock at the moment? Ooh. Well, I know that anything Captain Rex is very popular. So if we ha happen to have a Captain Rex Phase One or Two in stock, it usually sells within hours, even though they're very expensive. Clone Wars. There's Five O First Kashyyyk Troopers. Man, they're all collectible these days. Let's see, Clone Wars. Yeah, I'd have to say probably the anything clones related to Clone Wars is popular. Good question, no change back. Let's see. 
That's awesome. Just crazy how fast things rotate through. Yes, things will change every week. Probably a next to night set, right, Mark? Uh, no, Craig. There, I hopefully will never have to see a, a next to night set on the Joy Building. That would be. You were just telling me how excited you were. The for least Nights. least joyful set you could build is next to nights. Hey, well, that was one of the top three yesterday. What? Yeah. We, we got to rig the vote so it doesn't get through. We, we got to stop it. I'm going to rig it the other way. You're going to rig it the other way? Okay. I'm bringing it in. No. No. What are you guys doing? Just because I dressed up as Nexo Knight's one live stream. You guys think I like... No, 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 no. Nexo Knight's are terrible. Don't, don't listen to them. Friends buildings. Oh, yeah. Let's go look at uh, where friends buildings could be. Let's see. Good question there Robert we need to add some more friends buildings in here because right now we just have a Bernie display but make Joe build the next night set I should that's a good idea Scott I like that idea let's go look at friends stuff over here next night's for life no grumpy Jay no it's wrong next night's not for life not even for a week Show the custom goats. Oh, oh, we can check it out. Well, check out the goats. Who's Blue Man? Blue Man? Oh, maybe Bernie? Um, not sure. Which Blue Man we're talking about, Arcane? But yeah, let me know. Um, we've got plenty of friends and elves stuff in here. I love the roller coaster. I love the uh, crystals. Those are super cool. HP and FB for life. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was referring to a set that was set around the longest, probably a next night set. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Craig. That's right. Very good. That's more like it. All right. Um, what was the other request? Show the custom goats. Yes, we'll check that out, Jerry. Custom goats and custom sheep coming right up. Let's see if this will work. Got the goat building kit. Oh. It was giving me issues. Um, the goat building kits here. There we go. Made with real Lego pieces. Includes three goats. So you can build three goats from all those pieces. They're pretty cool. Steven and I worked on the designs. Mostly Steven. They helped. Sheep building kits. Before sheep were available, that was the, one of the few ways you could get sheep. It's pretty cool. I've been trying to get the gunship ATTE or any popular Clone War sets. I try to come here when it's restocked. Yes. Definitely worth checking back with us, change uh, back. We uh, often get those in and they often sell pretty quickly. So, uh, watching the hauls on Monday mornings at around um, 10 or 11 is a really good way because we'll often post what we got over the weekend and share there. And, it, and that's a good way if you want to be the first to know and scoop those up. I have three of the sheep and three of the goat sets. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you for buying those. We sure appreciate it. We actually have quite a few custom kits out right now. We've got gnomes, grinches, siren heads. we got the witch doctor. You've got xenomorph, battle babies, crankshafts, bernies, the power rings, lots of cool ones. How much of the big Florida hall has sold out so far? Quite a bit of it. I would say at least a third, maybe even a half of it. So we've already turned around quite a bit. We still have some in storage, some that hasn't been uh, discontinued yet. So we'll put those out for sale at some point soon. So. Very much looking forward to, to the new sets coming for Steven. I hear dragons are coming. Yes, they are. Steven has got uh, some dragons, which have been trained like like dragons how to train how to train your dragon oh, yeah yeah like that's... how would you how would you educate your serpent yeah exactly yeah yeah how um yeah Bonk. so we'll, we'll have some some really cool sets coming up was that a battle baby's helicopter yes it was robert maynard we actually have a we're doing a stop motion video showing off some of our uh, battle baby sets and uh the helicopter is one of them. They have an assault helicopter. Of course they do. I don't know what horrible future these babies live in, but it's it's uh, they're they're battling each other for survival 
We're also battling horrible creatures like the Xenomorph and the Siren Head and the uh, uh, Demigorgon. So, uh, yeah, there's actually a, a, a trailer style short animation coming out soon for those. So. Can we see adventurers? Good question, Willem. I was I, we were gonna look at those earlier. Let's uh, let's go check those out for us here. We've got the passage of the Junchi. It's the uh, Orient Expedition line. Very cool. Features the classic Giant Thunder. We've got the Tigura's Roar. That one features Dr. Kilroy and a very cool yellow jewel. We've got the Temple of Mount Everest. Very nice set. Features the chrome gold sword down there by that flame. And some of the cool parka hats from the Tibetan locals there. We've got the uh, the black cruiser, which is Baron Von Baron's, or um, Sam Sinister's um, vehicle. Very cool. Uh, made from real goats. <laughs> no, no, they're not made from real goats, Grumpy J. Maybe be wrong, but feel so right. No, no, that's not right. Grumpy J, no, we don't use real goats to make our goat kits. Can you check out the Angry Birds? Yes, let's go look at Angry Birds, Dace. Good, good request. I like how they have a map on the box. Yes, they're showing you how to find the treasure is to get these sets. Let's scoot around to Angry Birds here. We've got some Mario over here too in the Build-A-Figure area in the friends area. Daniel's putting out some good sets. I'm Ooh. guessing this was the one from the I think that was. Building. Yeah, Unless so that it's was the other one. I know we was, had two. This was the set built by Steven Erickson and uh, uh, it could be resorted down. On which one they sold. You might have to ask Joe if this is actually the one. We'll check with Joe, but yeah, that's awesome. And then uh Kyler Kyler Shuttle. Shuttle. Very yep. nice. And let, let's look at Angry Birds here. We've got the Piggy Pirate Ship. That one's certified complete for $100. And you got the sealed one. How much is the sealed one? Just out of curiosity. $120. So not too much more for a sealed one. Oh, excuse me. You've got the Bird Island Egg Heist with the, the chopper style motorcycle and the mustache piggy. The biker pig. And you've got the Piggy Castle. Let's see here. King Pig's Castle. Very cool. Love the pieces involved. You got some gold, got brown, gray, some lavender, the egg pieces. You're welcome, Will. Thanks for asking about those adventurer sets. We love adventurers here. If you need more adventurers content, check out that uh, Between the Studs video we just uploaded on the channel. Me and Daniel break down and discuss all the adventurous stuff. Have a happy Easter weekend, everyone. Thank you for another great live stream, Mark. Thanks, Madeline. We sure appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in pretty much every time we do these. Insert evil laugh. No, Grumpy J, no. Yes, Grumpy J. No, don't, don't encourage yes. him, Joe. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. You're scaring me. <laughs> oh, my. And everyone's smiling. You're the worst for allowing this to happen. It's, this is your fault. I blame you guys. Good grief. Wait, is Angry Birds technically the most recent castle theme? Oh man, Matt, that is devastating to hear, but maybe. No, 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 no. I think um, the blacksmith shop from Lego Ideas is more recent than these. Let's check the year. I gotta be sure though now, hold on. 2016, okay, so yeah. Not the most recent, but oh man, though, for a while it was. It's a castle, see? C A S T L E. That's a castle. Gosh. What a beautiful castle this. It's a it's a great set, but I, it makes me sad that this is this was in my uh, the possibility of even being the most recent uh, castle set. Corvette seventy two says thanks to everyone at ABC. Thank you, Corvette. We appreciate you watching and buying stuff too. We sure appreciate it. Oh, <laughs> look at that. There goes that. Uh, yeah. Morgan one. was getting that earlier. He got it. I just grabbed it out for him. That's awesome. And it's, it's uh, new sealed, so it's, it's killer, dude. pretty rad. This is one of the good buildable figures. Not yeah. all of them look good, but this is one of the ones that does. Some of them look cool. Some of them don't look like, quite as cool. I, I don't like that. I love that. K2SO okay. is awesome. 
The Death Troopers look great. Death Troopers look good. Kylo Ren looks pretty good. Yeah. The fabric. A lot of them look good. Any of the ones with helmets look pretty good. Yeah, some of them are less special, but yeah. Face Cody. Face Cody. I wish Maybe they had a minifigure. <laughs> no yeah. minifigure, just a buildable figure. Okay. Uh. Uh, thank you, Mark, for listening. Have an awesome weekend. Yep, we're at 60 minutes, so we're probably going to close it out here. Uh, might come come right as you restock with some Clone Wars sets. Yes, change brick. We'll, we'll hopefully see you next time we get more Clone Wars. And uh, thank you, Dice. We sure appreciate you guys tuning in. You guys have an excellent Easter weekend. Get some time off, rest, eat some good food. We'll see you guys back here next Tuesday at 3 p.m. Eastern for another live store tour until then we've got a bunch of videos on the channel and more coming out every day so y'all have a great day bye guys